the use of fluorides has proven to be essential for the prevention of tooth decay. In today's video, we will discuss the process of salt fluoridation. Like how we know iodine is added to salt to prevent iodine deficiency disorders, similarly, fluoride in controlled amounts in the form of sodium or potassium fluoride is added to salts during the manufacture of salt for human consumption for the prevention of tooth decay. This method was introduced by Westby in 1948 in Switzerland and has been on sale there since 1955. By 1967, more than three quarters of domestic salt sold in Switzerland was noted to be fluoridated at 90 mg of fluoride per kg salt. Recently conducted investigations have shown that the levels of fluoride can be kept at 200, 250 and 350 mg of fluoride per kg salt. It has also been brought to light that for effective caries prevention, fluoride must be present in ionic form when the salt is dissolved in water. Talking about the salt production process, there are mainly two ways of doing this, batch processing and continuous processing. When a fixed amount of fluoride compound, either sodium or potassium fluoride is added to a fixed amount of refined salt, it's termed as batch processing. Using sodium fluoride for this is mostly preferred for this product is extremely cheap and hence can be used in bulk. It has also been noted that the general assumption of attaining better homogeneity with longer mixing time does not stand true. It was seen that instead the most homogeneous distribution of fluoride in a ton of salt, for example, was attained after only 20 minutes of mixing and any more mixing beyond this point only led to the selective accumulation of fluoride at the bottom of the mixing cone. However, continuous processing of salt, as we know, is common in large production plants. Here, the procedure is often to spray a dosed concentrated fluoride solution through a nozzle onto the salt passing on a conveyor belt below. Remember that the amount of salt passing under the nozzle should be continually assessed as this would determine the amount of fluoride solution to be sprayed according to the fluoride concentration specified by law or decree. Unlike batch processing, potassium fluoride is the preferred compound in continuous production facilities since it's highly soluble in water in comparison to sodium fluoride. Although the use of salt as a vehicle for fluoride is attractive, it would benefit from further long-term studies. It has also been noted that there is no problem of acute toxicity with fluoridated salt since renal clearance of fluoride is more rapid than it is for sodium or chlorine. However, fluoride ingestion should be studied closely by monitoring urinary output. Salt fluoridation too, like a coin, has two flip sides. This technique is of great advantage since it does not require a community supply as in the case of water fluoridation and also permits individuals to decide for themselves and choose to either accept or reject it. For the individuals rejecting the idea, Non-fluoridated salt, like non-iodized salt, can also be made available. However, salt fluoridation has its limitations too. It has been noted that there may be large variations in salt intake in different groups of people. For example, fluoridated salt consumption is found to be the lowest when the need for fluorides is the greatest, that is, during the early years of life. Also, in cases where individuals consume increased amounts of processed food but the processors do not use fluoridated salt, the amount of fluoridated salt ingested may decrease. Additionally, a high salt intake may contribute to hypertension and in the case of people who are already hypertensive, salt consumption is restricted to a minimum or not consumed at all. In conclusion, Salt fluoridation is a simple and cost-effective way to improve oral health and prevent tooth decay. By making fluoridated salt more widely available, we can help improve the oral health of people around the world. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.